Phoenix International Raceway is home to Race 2 of the Arcom Pepsi Amateur Series. The competition heads out west after a wild and crazy finish to last week's race at the Daytona International Speedway. We go from the two and a half mile super speedway to a one mile short track here in the desert. It should be very fun and exciting to see here at the, at the Phoenix International Raceway as far as the action is concerned. But nonetheless, it's going to be fun. I, I mean, I'm not really sure what else to say other than the fact that we have ourselves a very, very controversial finish. It was a caution-free race right up until lap 29. The caution had come out long before the drivers had gotten to the white flag. And Ryan Fowler had managed to make his move for the lead and got his car across the start-finish line first enabling him to go to victory lane and he is your current points leader heading into this race so speaking of let's have a look at your point standings coming into race number two here at the phoenix international raceway as i said before ryan fowler holds on to the points lead and then you have addison jarrell who starts outside front row for this race she is second in points tied with blaze aiken then you have Nathan Stapleton in 4th, Carter Joey 5th, Shauna Martin is in 6th, tied with Owen Miles in 7th, Brandon Yodel is in 8th, Chad Myers 9th, and Tyler Ferris completes the top 10. So as you notice, we have a lot of ties heading into uh, the, today's race, and uh, we, do, uh, or we should also expect some of those ties to be broken by the end of the day here at Phoenix. Well... I think I've said my piece, I think I've said enough, so without further ado, let's turn our attention to the racetrack. The drivers are strapped into their cars, pre-race ceremonies are just now starting to wrap up, but in order to get these 34 cars rolling off, we gotta get the command to fire the engines. Drivers, start your engines! And the engines have been fired, pace cars rolling off, and so are these 34 drivers. And as they roll out onto the racetrack for their pace laps, here's your starting lineup for race two, the TikTok 150. just took one to go and the pace car is already off we're not wasting on any time at all there you see on the front row that oh I thought for a second I thought for a second that we didn't have any cars starting the race but anyways you see there on the front row that is the 13 of Bradley Ream and the 98 of Addison Jarrell are runner-up from last week they're both going to bring the field of the green flag to get race two started. Ooh, lots of drivers going really, really wide going through turns one and two. Heading down into turns three and four for the very first time at full speed. It's going to be Bradley Ream leading lap number one. And Stephen Alexander coming up into the second position. And look at this. All the way back here. Three wide. Nearly four abreast. Heading into the dogleg on the front stretch. We're already four wide on the back stretch. There's 
Elijah going in the 27. New sponsor on that on that machine. It's Red's Wicked Apple that comes on board. Since he did turn 21, he does have that car as the full time. He does have Red's as a full time sponsor throughout this entire season. But nonetheless, it should be very good to see what he'll be able to do with that sponsorship. It might propel him to victory lane. You never know what could happen here. Oh, he chimed in the truck. Ah, trouble. Oh my gosh. I couldn't even get the words out of my mouth. That's Quentin Moore in the zero. That's Billy Kidd in the six. Five, in the 25, Chad Myers. And also, I saw a couple other cars involved. There's Sean Arn in the 88. A little bit of left side damage on onto his four fusion. Man, that all happened so quickly. I wasn't able to get the words out of my mouth. I was just trying to look for the entry list. There's Amy Wilderotter in the five. Damage to the passenger side of her TikTok machine. Billy Kidd, who had himself a really good running at Daytona last week. Not going to be able to start off the race the way that he wanted to for this week as he limps his car to pit road. And Quentin Moore way in the back of that zero machine. Heavy front end damage. And it looks like he's not going to be able to continue, unfortunately. So out front right now, it is the 13 of Bradley Ream, who is out front, or who is leading the way. Sorry, I said out front twice. Gosh, freaking darn it. But anyways, it's Bradley Ream who holds on the first place. Let's go back and see what happened that triggered our first caution of the day. Looks like on lap number four. They were four wide coming out of turn two. You see Sean Art on the apron. He slides up a little bit. He gets into the left rear wheel of Billy Kidd, who get, then bounces up into Joey Miles in the 10. He comes right back down into Sean Art. And then they both go into the inside wall. There's Chad Myers getting put into the wall by Mitchell Collins. Not nowhere to go there for, uh, for Quentin Moore. And then Amy Will, rather, in the five, ended up pancaking the right side of her car into the outside wall. Looks like Easton Myers was able to get on the brakes just enough to miss that. But what a way to start off this race here for the Arcom Pepsi Amateur Series from a caution-free race right up until lap 29. Coming to the white flag to some trouble early in the going in Phoenix. Right along with Amy Wilderotter. She's just minding her own business. Buying her time. And there's the chaos that just happens. She might have a little bit of front end damage. Maybe a little bit of damage to the nose, possibly. But uh, we're just going to have to uh, wait and see if that's going to impede her performance on the racetrack. It might just a little bit, but not too much. Uh, but that's what happened to bring out our first caution of the day. Billy Kitt, Sean Art, Quentin Moore, Chad Myers, Amy Wilderotter, and a couple of others involved in this lap four crash on the back straightaway at Phoenix. Don't go away, folks. We'll be right back for the restart. It's Bradley Ream who's out front.
We are back here at the Phoenix International Raceway for race number two of the Arcom Pepsi Amateur Series. The TikTok 150. And right now it is Bradley Ream who is out front. Stephen Alexander is in second. Nathan Stapleton is third. And then David Byers in the number one machine is fourth. Bronson Minnick, who needs himself a really good run in this race, so far is getting that. He is fifth. And then 6th is Addison Jarrell, 7th is Carter Joey, 8th is the 44 of Noah Clifton, Ninth is Nelson Reeves, and the 15 of Foster Henderson completes the top 10. The only driver that is reported out of the race is Quentin Moore. Unfortunately, he was the lone driver in that crash that smelled what The Rock was cooking. We might get a little bit more in this race. You never know what's going to happen. So here they come to the green flag to get this race restarted. 40 laps to go out of this 47 lapper here in Phoenix. Here we go. Top four get a really good restart. And how about Nathan Stapleton trying to make it to the inside for second as they go into turn one. Might slide up a little bit. Hopefully you don't make any contact with the, with the number four of Alexander. Stapleton is trying to get after it. Through turns three and four, Stapleton is going to edge the four out for second. Yes, that is correct. But Bradley Ream right now is out front. He's got all the clean air in front of him. He's got nobody around him, which is actually a very good sight to see if you are Bradley Ream. But we do have some very impressive battles going on right now. Just like this one for second, David Byers trying to get to the inside of Nathan Stapleton. He is there. Coming off the dog leg into turn one. Byers has the advantage. Is he going to clear Stapleton? That answer is yes. So now Stapleton is now under fire from Stephen Alexander. That is for third. How about Carter Joey trying to get around Addison Jarrell for the fifth position? Nelson Reeves is now starting to come into the mix, as is the number seven of Allison Range. She is moving inside of the top ten. Trying to get by Shauna Martin and Bronson Minnick. That would be that would move her up into the eighth position. Oh my gosh, Shauna Martin! That was a very close call. Oh my goodness, you could not even. Jeez. My gosh, Shauna Martin, what a save. So far, the top tr three, though, as we focus back in, our single file for the moment. Carter Joey has just gotten by Nathan Stapleton for fourth. Jarrell is going to try to get to the inside of Stapleton for the fifth position. Let's go further back into the field. Joey Miles is right underneath of Noah Clifton and Foster Henderson. That is three wide. That's just outside of the top 10. This is for the 13th position. Tyler Ferris in the 69 is just almost is almost going to knock on the door for the top 10, a uh, top 10 spot. But so far we got some very impressive action going on all across this field. How about the 77 of Stephen Cologne? Right there on the inside, still trying to go at it. This time, this is for 14th. Clifton slides way high. And Gordon might be able to capitalize on Stephen Cologne. Trying to make it three wide for 15th, possibly. Maybe still for 14th, possibly. I have no clue right now. But we do have a lot of action going on. And uh, they're, they might catch up to Billy Kidd later on in the race because he is way off the pace right now. But Bradley Ream continuing to dominate as we are closing in on the one-third mark of this race. Ream has a half a second advantage over Steven Alexander. Carter Joey trying to knock on the door for the second spot. Allison Rain. Currently, she's in the seventh position trying to get by David Byers for sixth. Nathan Stapleton holds on to fifth for the moment. Meanwhile, back over here, Elijah Gorn gets by Foster Henderson. That was for the 15th position. 
but everybody's trying to get into their own green flag rhythm single file but there is still that chance that the drivers will have to come in and pit so that is not going to get ruled out anytime soon at least for this race then other races <laughs> the other races such as date such as talladega for instance that might get ruled out i have no clue but as for every other race it's not a pit stop or two is not going to get ruled out but stapleton is going to get by addison jarrell for the fourth position and allison rain is going to follow right behind him Well, man, look at back here, three wide. That's uh, Kyler Anderson in the 01, right up, right, right on, right just, just above him on his outside, are both Val Mosco in the 23 and Mitchell Collins in the 32. Yeah, Jeffrey Holcomb in the 99, right there in the middle of this mess. Meanwhile, let's focus back up at the front of the field, closer to the front. Bronson Minnick trying to get by Addison Jarrell. That would be for the sixth spot. Looks like he might get it going through turns four this time around. That's Chris Reynolds in the 19. Reynolds is going to get by David Byers for the eighth spot. Shauna Martin trying to get back inside of the top ten. Well, she is right now, but, but is going to try to get another spot as she goes for ninth. Everybody currently single file for the moment. But you should expect some pit stops to come around. Maybe around the halfway mark of this race. You never quite know. Uh, for At least for the time being. You just, you just don't know for right now. So we're just going to have to assume that pit stops will come around. Lap 24, lap 25-ish. Maybe a little bit earlier. Riding along with David Byers. He's under attack from Shauna Martin down there on the inside in the 18. That's for ninth. Martin's going to get it. Byers will fall back to 10th. Action is starting to get a little bit intense. Closing in on halfway, there's Tyler Ferris in the 69. Going around the inside of Byers as they head back into turn three. This is a nice side view from David Byers' machine. How about Stephen Colon in the 77? Dive bombing his way in there. There's Nelson Reeves in the 09 making his way to the inside as they hit the back stretch. And look at this crossover from David Byers as they go into turn three. How about that? David Byers is definitely putting on a very good show as he's trying to stay inside of the top ten. Get some really good valuable points towards the championship. Nathan Stapleton is going to get by Carter Joey for third. Allison Rain in the seven might have something to say about this. In maybe just a few seconds time is she gonna try to get to the inside of Carter Joey as they go into turn one this time by you never quite know right now I think she's just gonna tuck right in stay single file for now and just depend on uh, Joey to make a mistake but meanwhile you got Gordon and Foster Henderson going at it once again along with Stephen Colon and Nelson Reeves pretty good action so far despite the fact that we've only had one caution for what we're seeing as far as racing is concerned in some places it's actually really good so right now Gordon works his way to the inside of both Henderson and Cologne and is going to get the spot that was for the 13th position from the looks of it and Gordon was able to retain Let's focus on point leader Ryan Fowler here for a second. Ryan is currently being scored in 20th position. He came into this race as the points leader with 45 points. That's 12 points more than what Addison Jarrell had. And it looks like pit stops are going to be taking place on lap 27. 
That's Stephen Alexander in the four coming in. That's Carter Joey, Allison Raines, Shauna Martin, David Byers, Jeffrey Holcomb, East, or Chad Myers. There's Brandon Yodel coming in and also Mitchell Collins as well. But as I said, as the next group is going to prepare to come in here this time, Nathan Stapleton is in. There's Bronson Minnick. A couple others are coming in as well. Speaking of Ryan Fowler, there he is. He is among this group coming in. As I was trying to say, he comes into this race as the points leader with 45 points max. That's 12 points more than what Addison Jarrell came in with. She came in with 33, tied with uh, Blaze Aitken. Should either of those two drivers, Aitken or Jarrell, do well, and Ryan Fowler does not, most likely Ryan Fowler may lose the points lead. It's still very early in the season, so it's very easy to lose positions in 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 the season, at least early in the season. But as he's, but as time goes on and as more points are accumulated, it's going to get more and more difficult to move up on the point standings. So in order to get as many good points as possible, you've got to perform very good early in the season. That's what you have to do. So far, Stephen Alexander was able to get out of pit road first amongst the first group of cars that uh, that did end up pitting, and he may end up with the race lead depending on what happens uh, with the rest of the drivers that are in pit road. Bradley Ream is in. He dominated every single lap since the drop of the green flag, and it looks like he may lose the lead to Stephen Alexander. We're on lap 30, less than 20 laps to go. Here in the TikTok 150. And I think that's going to be the case. Let's actually let's focus in on this pack here a little bit. There was a chance, there might be a chance that we might see a late race caution that could trigger a restart with less than 10 to go. You have no idea what could happen here. Maybe with a little bit less than 20 to go. Obviously, less than 20 to go. Maybe less, with 50, less than 15 to go. But we're just going to have to keep our eyes open. Cologne make Cologne slice way high. Holcomb is gonna be in the middle. Shauna Martin on the bottom as they head into turn three. But just to confirm that it is Steven Alexander who is out front. Nathan Stapleton second, then Carter Joey in third. Chris Reynolds in fourth. Amy Wilderotter may be fifth overall on the racetrack. But she is 32nd right now, a lap down. But she is still holding her own, definitely for sure. She's the first car one lap down. And she better hope and pray that a caution comes out right at this point. Because once we get within 10 laps to go, there are no more double file restarts. But Bradley Ream, continuing on here, is 5th. Bronson Minnick in 6th. Then David Byer 7th. Tyler Fair is going to try to knock on the door for 7th as he's currently being scored in 8th. Allison Rain, she is in ninth, And Shauna Martin completes the top 10. Side by side for the 7th position. Ferris on the inside trying to make something happen as they go into turn 1. He's going to edge ahead just a little bit and is probably gonna clear him looks like he did Ferris through to seventh oh I think Ferris just went a little bit high and that allowed David Byers to drive right back underneath them as they go through the dog leg closing in on 10 laps to go we're on lap 35 34 laps complete and Stephen Alexander is out front there is a chance he could pull away with the victory but not if either Nathan Stapleton or the 20 or the 55 of Carter Joey have anything to say about it. They're starting to close in on Steven Alexander little by little and so is the 19 of Chris Reynolds. Reynolds, if the top three mess up, Reynolds could swoop in and steal the win. You never quite know when it comes down to this type of situation. But the top four right now, all single file, equally spaced out for the time being. Joey Miles in the 10, getting by Jeffrey Olcom. That 
was for the 14th position. So it looks like Miles is going to retain that. In the meantime, everybody is still double file. Allison Rain trying to get by Tyler Varis for the seventh position or for the eighth spot. Excuse me. And Elijah Gordon under fire from Mitchell Collins. That's for 10th. And it looks like Gordon has been able to take that spot away. And that pretty much confirms it right there with that position change. But let's focus back up at the front. Stapleton has caught Steven Alexander. We are inside 10 laps to go, which means no more double file restarts if a caution were to come out within the 10 laps to, within 10 laps to go. We might not have another caution with 10 laps to go. You never quite know. So, but at the same time, some of these drivers may have to make a late race pit stop. That's the key word right there, may. I have no clue, but they may, might have to. Here, the, Stapleton went really high going through three and four. That allowed Alexander to capitalize on that and pull away and extend his lead by another two tenths. Carter Joey is starting to close right in on Nathan Stapleton as they come off a two, heading down the back straightaway. This could very well come down to a three-car fight for the finish. Maybe a four-horse fight if, if Chris Reynolds is able to get up there and challenge. But so far, it's just these three drivers, seven to go. Alexander continuing to lead the way. This could come to this, this most likely, if nothing else happens. This is going to come down to these three drivers. Maybe four, like I said, if Reynolds is able to get up there and challenge. Six to go. Top three. All just about a quarter of a second apart from each other. A quarter to a third. Stapleton is trying hard, though. Down the back straightaway. Coming to five to go. Let's see if Stapleton is able to get up there and try to challenge. Let's see what the gap looks like now. And the gap has shrunk just by four one hundredths. So Stapleton is making up time. Whoa, Stapleton just drove it in there way too hard. He's going to lose a little bit of ground here. Coming to four laps to go. In the TikTok 150, Steven Alexander is out front. Continuing to lead, he might be able to hold off Nathan Stapleton, but Stapleton was able to reel him back in. Gained another tenth, or another hundredth, excuse me. Stapleton, though, is just driving it in really hard, though. But he's trying. Coming to three to go this time. If Stapleton is going to make his move, he's got to make it now. But he went a little bit wide through turns three and four. Which will allow Stephen Alexander to extend his lead. Oh, Alexander had a little bit of a wide entry getting into turn one. But I don't think that's going to impede on his, uh, on his gap on Nathan Stapleton. Coming to two laps to go. This time by... The top four cars equally spaced out. Stapleton trying to make something happen. He's less than two tenths behind. But if Stapleton is going to have to make something happen, he's got to do it now. He might have to send it in here, getting into turn three. He's on the back bumper, coming to the white flag. This time by one final lap in the TikTok 150. And it is Steven Alexander out front. Will he be leading coming back to the checkered flag? We're just going to have to find that out in one mile time. Through turns one and two. The battle is going to ensue for third. But Stapleton is right there. This is his last chance. Into turn three. Not going to be able to make it happen. Here he comes off of turn number four. Steven Alexander is going to win the TikTok 150. How about that? Steven Alexander was able to hold off Nathan Stapleton and hold on for the race win. Ever since pitting first, 
He managed to get the good he managed to get a really good jump out of his pit box. He managed to stay out long enough to surpass Br Bradley Ream and never looked back from there. How about that for Steven Alexander? Two races, two different winners so far in the season. And that's actually a really good thing here for Steven Alexander. This might this is also going to benefit him in the point standings because if I remember correctly, he did come into this race. Let me go back and take a look at uh, the point standings. Steven came into this race 22nd so this will definitely help him in the points he might move up somewhere inside of the top 10 uh but we won't know that right up until uh the points get shown so it's stephen alexander who ends up taking the win here at the phoenix international raceway nathan stapleton oh so close but he'll have to settle for second Carter Joey will finish third, Chris Reynolds fourth, Bradley Ream after dominating the first part of the race. He comes home inside of the top five. Not too bad of a day for Bradley Ream. Then sixth is Bronson Minnick, seventh David Byers, eighth Allison Rain, ninth Stephen Cologne, and Joey Miles in car number 10 finishes inside of the top 10. The rest of your results from positions 11 through 34 are scrolling on your screen. And that, this was actually a very interesting race. At least this week, we were able to finish under the green flag instead of a very unexpected caution, unlike last week at the Daytona International Speedway. But uh, Ryan Fowler, after winning last week, he ends up finishing 17th this week. He might not, he most likely is, I don't think he's going to be able to hold on to the points lead, but like I said, we won't be able to, we won't know that up until the points are shown. But uh, nonetheless, we saw some really, really good action at the Phoenix International Raceway. It just, it, this was, this was absolutely magnificent. Magnificent racing all over the racetrack, here and there. And Stapleton was able to pull up to the back bumper of Steven Alexander, but it just wasn't enough. And he just will have to settle for second. But he will get another shot at redemption uh, ne uh, in the very next race. However, we won't be back until April 2nd at the Stafford Motor Speedway for the Whelan 100. That will be at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, but until then, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, go ahead and give it a like. If you have not considered subscribing yet, I recommend you do so in order to keep up with some fine content coming out in the near future. One more time, congratulations to Stephen Alexander on closing the deal here at the Phoenix International Raceway. And here are your points after race number two of the Arcom Pepsi Amateur Series. Don't forget, coming up at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time, we do have 11 o'clock, so that's going to be a very fun one. Hopefully, you guys can come on come on back and uh, tune in for that. That will be live stream, by the way, before the Truck Series race tonight. Um, anyways, that's going to do it for me. I will see you guys on the next one.